people we should uh, reveal if uh, spleen is enlarged yeah uh, in healthy person can we palpate spleen no no uh, and that is why it should be uh, below the costal arch yeah deeper first of all we make uh, percussion yeah and uh, first of all we make percussion to direction to 10 ribs mm -hmm. I made percussion till rip, uh, sound is not changed. It means that rather possible that spleen is not enlarged in this patient. If we find the spleen is enlarged, when we start uh, palpation, we will move three centimeters below the edge of this um, enlarged spleen and make uh, it palpation. If you find that uh, spleen is not enlarged, uh, we can make palpation. Palpation we can make in patients on uh, back and on uh, right side. Okay, is this similar as for liver palpation? First, we find tampering. Yeah, and place our tip of fingers. Uh, two three centimeters below the rib arch okay and tell patient to inhale exhale and inhale and when patient inhale we move uh, forward to uh, direction to spleen and we should not palpate it in healthy person okay we should not touch any structure then we turn patient on right side on right side okay okay your uh, hands should be like you sleep yeah uh, the right leg should be straight this is straight this flexed left leg flexed okay um, and this similar yeah let's calculate again Ten, three. okay this is trip and two three centimeters slower than position of this rib we will make palpation breathe in breathe out and breathe in okay and I you should not feel anything okay again breathe in breathe out and breathe in Okay, with your uh, left hand you fix ribs and make palpation. Breathe in, out, in and you move to spleen. Okay, let's try something. Okay. 